planner friends it's Ashley in this video I'm going to show you how I'm setting up my social media planner for the month of February um, what I always start with is some sticky notes I like using these smaller sticky notes so we'll open it up here to the monthly section of my social media planner so I'm going to go to February the first thing that I'm going to do is take these sticky notes and I split them in half and then my posting schedule is supposed to be on Sundays Tuesdays and Thursdays. So the first thing that I do is I will go through with the sticky notes and I will place them on these days. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll explain why I'm doing this here in just a second. You and me stuck on the ocean now. Nothing but waves in this villain in. I want to dry up a two. Just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here. All right, once I have the sticky notes down, then I'm going to go through and I'm going to put the date on all of these sticky notes. And again, I'll put all this together here in just a second, but I'm just walking you through my my entire process of how I get this ready for the month. Here, all my reasoning have disappeared. I want to bury the hatchet and find the way back to our home. All right, now that the dates are on the sticky notes, I'm going to go right here to this section. And I have a list of YouTube video ideas. And so what I'm going to do with this list is I start to pull things from this list and I write them down on the sticky notes. Now the reason why I put the date, uh, the dates on the sticky notes is because as I start to decorate my spread, I will be taking the sticky notes off. And there has been times before that I've not dated these. I've taken them off. I've gotten sidetracked and then I come back and I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't know what was for what day. So it's kind of like I'm replanning everything. So I always put the date on the sticky notes. So in case I have to like go do something else and come back to it, I don't get lost or whatever. Or even if I'm setting here, I don't get lost on what my plans were for um, each day. Now, posting schedule, like I said, is Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Does that mean that I can only post on these days? No. Um, you guys, if you guys look at my channel, if you follow me and you're subscribed, which I hope you are, you will notice that I do post on days other than just Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. But this is where I want to stick to as like my main posting schedule. So what I'm going to sit down and do is I will start to pull videos from this and I'm going to put them on the sticky notes. Now the reason why I have the sticky notes is as I pull videos and I write them down, if I have to move things around, this is easier than moving stickers around or pilling stickers up and having to like, because like, let me show you this. This might explain it a little better. This was January spread for my social media planner and these boxes are all YouTube videos that I had posted. It's easier to do a little bit of pre-planning and move sticky notes around than it is to move these boxes or peel these up and sometimes I don't have boxes to replace them with. I think with the blue boxes for January I honestly had enough for the spread. So um, if I would have messed one up or needed to move it or whatever I wouldn't have been able to uh, find another box sticker that matched that which might seem like a small thing and you're like, that's not a big deal to me. If that's not a big deal to you, don't worry about it. If you don't decorate your planner, you do not have to. What I'm doing in this video is just showing you my entire process and this is a part of that process. So I'm going to sit down and I'm gonna start pulling videos from my sheet and I'm gonna start placing them on here. And I'm also gonna be flipping back to February because I know that there was a couple of videos like this one down here and I think there was another one. This one that I didn't end up doing. I swapped those out. So I'm actually going to pull these ones and do them in the month of February. So that's what I'm going to sit down and do really quick. And then from there, I'll show you how I pull the sticky notes in with decorating and all of that stuff.
All right, so I went ahead and I pulled video ideas from this sheet and I added them to the sticky notes. And as you'll see, I added a few extra uh, sticky notes on here and I added some other videos. These are videos that I also want to create this month. And then this one right here is a little sticky note that says other videos. And so these are some other videos that I can do whenever throughout the month, just some different ideas that I had. And whenever I decorate this, I'll put this in over here on the sidebar. And the way that this works is as I am planning out each week, so here's the first week of February, as I'm planning out the week, I know what I'm filming, when I need to be editing, what videos are gonna be posted when. So this monthly section has been a tremendous help once I once I actually started using it because I used to be really bad about not using the monthly section of my social media planner. Uh, now I still am not the best at using the monthly section in my catch-all planner, but that's a different story. Uh, for my social media planner, I used it in February. It was extremely helpful. This actually helped me get ahead on my video filming and editing schedule, which has been incredible. And I'm so thankful for that. So what we are going to do now is I'm going to find what sticker books I want to use. It's February. I'm kind of debating on whether I want to do um, a Valentine's like lovey heart type of spread or what. So I'm going to go find some stickers and then I'll show you how I'm going to decorate this. All right. So it's actually been a couple of hours for me since starting to film this. I ended up watching a movie with my son. We watched the Lorax on Netflix and I highly recommend it to all my mamas out there. Um, it was a really good movie. So we watched that um, and then I picked out my sticker books and I have them all scattered out. And here's just a little glimpse of what my desks are looking like right now with sticker books everywhere. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you which sticker books I'm using and then I will speed up the process of me decorating it. And then I'll um, slow it down whenever I start filling in all of the information from my sticky notes onto the box stickers and different things that I use. So for stickers I'm using, let me grab them. I have the florals and the functional. This is from one of the Be Happy boxes. So I have those two. I have All in a Season, the mega sticker book. There are some really cute uh, Valentine's Day stickers here. So I have those. And you guys can see the sun is shining in on this, that's what all the lighting is about. Um, maybe if I do this, it's gonna get bright. Okay, that helps. Or did that make more shadows? I think that helped. Nope, that made way more shadows. Let's try this, is that better? That's better, okay. The next sticker book that I have is the Flower Power Mega Sticker Book. I love this sticker book. I'm gonna use some of these uh, pink stickers, the pink florals here, and some of the really pretty rose gold stickers. Potentially some of these, but I'm not sure yet on those ones. So I do have this sticker book. And I believe that's it on the sticker book. So I'm gonna go ahead, take these sheets out, and I'm gonna decorate this. And then like I said, I will slow it back down once I start filling in all the information.
hoping somehow we can make this all right Just keep on trying Glass after glass, I keep hoping you'll come around Drown in our fights and what, whatever can be found Cause I've given in to all my demons lately You know Might be easier just to let it go Cut the cable short All right, now that I have it decorated, what I do from here is I take the information from the sticky note and I transfer it to the box sticker that is below it. The stuff from this sticky note is gonna go inside of this box sticker over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and I'll start writing everything out and have it all planned and ready to go for the month. All right, so now I've transferred everything from the sticky notes into the box stickers, and that, my friends, is how I set up my uh, planner for social media for the entire month. Now, I'm not perfect, and I don't perfectly stick to the schedule, and you will see, let me find my planner. Like, whenever I did this in January, some things got moved, I have little arrows, some things got rescheduled. Some things I didn't even end up doing and I actually transferred those over into February. So this is not like a set in stone uh, planner setup. Like I have to 110% follow this, but this is a guide that really helps me. There might be weeks that um, I struggle with migraines and I've talked about that before. And sometimes I don't get videos up because I have migraines for a few days in a row and that sucks. But you know, it's not, like I said, it's not set in stone, but this is going to be the tentative plan for February and then whatever, if I don't get something filmed or whatever, I will just add it to the next month. But it is all set up and ready to go. And this right here, wait a minute, what's supposed to go up there? 
See, this is why you date the sticky note. Oh my goodness, the sixth. Okay, hold on, I gotta, I gotta add that in there. January fitness flip through. That's funny. See, I'm kind of glad that happened because uh, that's what I'm talking about with dating the sticky notes. That's why it's so important. All right, so that is going to be my planner setup. As always, if you have questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.